Hi guys, I just pulled up to the gym on a bright and early Tuesday morning. So I figured I would take you guys through my standard pump workout. Yesterday, Mondays, I kind of hit some basics, get some halves in, get the body moving, and sometimes a little play time. Yesterday, not too much. But today, Tuesday, routine day. So I'm gonna take you through turn by turn, all the way through my routines, all the way through my maintenance, and then the play time at the end, so you can see what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, what I'm focusing on. So it should be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. It's a nice sunny day outside, and I'm hyped. Let's see how it goes. So for me, routine days are 100% about the mental side of Palma Horse. You know, on my lighter days, on my basic days, on my half days, I'm working to make that extension as good as possible, every little detail. I'm counting each tenth when I salute my halves on those days. It's gotta be less than five tenths or I'm not happy with it. But on my routine days, because of course, most of gymnastics is mental, I'm really just focused on being 100% confident, so. No matter what happens, no matter how I feel, no matter how my body feels, no matter how my energy level is, I've got to just be relentless and power through that so, set. I guess now I can just walk you through a typical um, routine day for me. So I added a cardio circuit uh, and I'm feeling stronger with those. In the beginning, I was a little bit embarrassed and I definitely would not have put that in the video when I first did it. But now, now we're getting stronger. So feeling good about that. Uh, and then of course I do some presses, some handstand push-ups, and then the cross pulls. That, I'm feeling great, not gonna lie. I don't know if you guys have actually checked out these arms, but they are not made for rings. So any progress I make on the cross pulls, I'm feeling great about. So going into this, I was feeling fantastic. And then of course I hit that first, very first warm-up turn and missed like almost every single skill in it. Um, <laughs> so let me explain that turn for you guys. Um, it might be a little bit confusing, but my first turn is a loose leg, kind of like first two third routine. So basically when your legs are apart and kind of loose, you're forced to feel the, a stronger support on the pommel. You can't like cheat the corners by driving your heels or pulling or using your arms or anything. You have to feel very on, very stable. So my first turn is all about finding that connection with my foundation again. And usually it's pretty smooth. Um, I'm doing like a cold first two thirds, sometimes cold set, just depending on how my wrists are feeling. It, it was not happening today. So, um, and then of course that plays into the mental side of things, right? Cause now I have to salute my routine. Well, I have, I have two more turns, but now basically I have to salute my routine, whether it feels good or bad, or I made every skill or I missed every skill, doesn't matter. Got to salute, got hit. So that, that's the plan for my routine days. It, uh, it's giving me an opportunity to conquer this, whether I feel great or whether I feel terrible. Yeah, the first routine, um, coming off that just terrible first warm-up turn, but you know, I practice for this. Um, that's part of the game, you know, just being mentally confident. The, the warm-ups are timed. You get your one touch and then you have to go. So regardless, I'm, I'm leaving all that stuff in the past. It happened, it didn't happen, whatever. This is the moment right now. So that, that's where my mental focus has been. Um, I'm getting really into ocean imagery. I know it sounds super weird, but for me, the, the picture of just like a super calm and like flat ocean with all of this just surging power underneath it is just like the most calming thing ever. And then on the other side of it, I'm also trying to put myself in the competition, like in the meet up here. So I'm picturing, you know, some of the best guys in the world doing their routines. I've watched them so many times, you know, that. I can literally see it in my head. So I'm, I'm picturing their routines, them rocking it, some of them falling and blowing it, you know, setting myself up for a high pressure situation. So when I raise my hand, my heart's actually like kind of pounding a little bit. I'm, I can kind of feel myself there. You can't like truly mimic it, but I'm kind of there in my head, you know? And then I raise my hand, salute and go.
not the best by far, and it would definitely be cutting it close to make that, that top eight in a larger competition, but for the time being, first set, I'm okay with it. Yeah, second set, um, that's always the tougher one, right? Like, the first set is supposed to be prelims, so I'm really just trying to be confident and kind of push my way through. And then the second set, that's finals. So I really got to show off everything that I've been working on. So I'm thinking about all the stuff that went wrong in the first set, some little spots after the flop, after the cue, into the Russian where my hips got a little bit loose and kind of broke. And then those are the things I'm focusing on from square one all the way through. Uh, I didn't get it, <laughs> not at all. There are still those breaks there. Uh, the woo's better. I've been trying to make it as flat as possible across and then really stay open on that front loop because they kill you in between skills. So that part was better. I'm always happy with the scissor for the most part. And then yeah, just just some of the single pommel flop work was, was a little bit choppy. And then the flare definitely didn't show off that, uh, that really big push and heel drive through the back that long flat planche position that they're looking for. So survived, but I don't think I'm taking home the medal with that one. Yeah, so we survived the routines, uh, pushed through, confident, got relentless, didn't let up, uh, a couple mistakes here and there, definitely the leg splits. They would not, I don't think they would have put me on the podium, not close, but happy with the mental win. So I am looking for five tenths or less deduction. That's my goal. Five tenths or less in each half. A little bit far-fetched, but you know, two for the moon, why not? <laughs> so this is where I'm really showing off that circle that I've been working in practices and, and basics and stuff. And you can, you can really see the difference in how I'm driving my heels all the way through the back, really trying to get all the way instead of kind of going back into my, my habitual little butt around the side so so these next couple turns supposed to be three last halves three sets of woo and flop just focusing on the extension and the little tiny details so a maximum of three because i'm trying to get this pommel workout done in an hour and that that seems like it should be a short time but i'm trying to pump out as many turns as i can in an hour so and that of course that's just to preserve my wrists you know I, i'm not as fresh as I used to be, so I've got to think about the next day and not just what's in this moment. So, I failed at <laughs> doing that. My three last halves turned into five last halves because I wasn't happy, it didn't hit my 510 um, quota. So yeah, I did the two extra and I immediately paid for it on my next set of the woos and the flops. So yeah, my, my wrists kind of were done for the day so had to limit that. I think I ended up doing one or two sets of the woo to flop instead of the, the full three, just because the leather, man, the, the, my wrists were done. It wasn't happening. So I did what I could to the best of my ability that I could, and then I hit flops hard, as much as I can, um, trying to really focus on finishing my heels all the way through the back, trying to get that extension and, and just make it Make it smooth, you know, make it look nice. I, I don't think extension is the, the end all that some people try to make it seem. If your rhythm stays smooth all the way around, there's no change, then you're, you're golden. You're really, the only problem is when you, you do a big open and then uh, or a big, and then uh, you know. I honestly could not tell you how many flops I did today. Uh, kind of one of my, uh, is it a bad habit? I don't know if it's a bad habit. I can, if you can say it's bad, but kind of one of my uh, flaws, I guess, is if something's not going how I, if I plan it to go, I kind of get stuck in that moment. So maybe I did 10 flops, maybe I did 15 flops. I don't know. I did a lot of flops. <laughs> and, then, and then I finished off with my mushroom basics, of course, to uh, really work on making that extension feel more natural. So the basic idea is you have your tiny positions like your, your pike or your hollow and your arch. And then as you add momentum to them, they develop into a straighter and a straighter position. So eventually I'm hoping to get to that just perfectly straight line in the front and the back. But in the meantime, I have to redefine my support in the smaller positions. So I'm working that 
super small but stable kind of pike and arch and then I stretch it out to more and more extended. So I'm work just redefining my stability, I guess. So it's gonna be a consistent extension instead of an out of control extension. Hey guys, so that was routine day. I'm not too happy with it, but we got through. So I was hoping to show you some of the stuff I've been working these past couple months. I've been pushing so hard to hit all those little tiny details, push the extension, really show off the scissor, work on my toes because they've been slacking a bit. But today was not the day for that. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm okay with that. Uh, that is what today is supposed to be about, but I, I can't take some good positives from it. So mentally stayed in it, never a moment where I hesitated or pulled out or held back every little mistake that came up, just powered right through, fixed the circle when I could and finished out strong. So plus there, but the routines are still coming along and totally okay with that again, because you know, I'm balancing the two sides of things. I can go 100% for that circle, and then my hit percentage right now will probably be like 20 or 30%, or I can balance working the mental side, and then balance working the extension side, and then gradually over time put it together, and my consistency will still be there. So that, that's, the, that's the plan I'm on right now. And it's working. There are days when you can really see that the routine is like night and day completely different. And then there are days like today where it's just going to be a mental win, so. So thanks for joining me on this routine day. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of an insight. Uh, man, there are so many details in there, but just a little glimpse. So make sure you click and subscribe so you can stay up to date and don't miss anything new.